Today's video is about a very important subject, money. Obviously, there are lots of different people earning lots of different amounts of money, so I'll keep this very specific to me and my career. Generally, people hate or find it uh, awkward, even uncomfortable, to talk about money. Um, but when you're as self-employed as I am, uh, you kind of need to know your worth, almost. Uh, it's probably the best way of describing it. My first paid gig um, was actually when I was 10 years old um, and I played at someone's wedding in Dundee and I think they paid £10. Um, I'm 27 now and I think, my, if I can think off the top of my head, my best paid gig uh, for one day's work, I think, um, was a couple of years ago when I earned £750 in one day. It was actually an hour. An hour. £750. There were a fair few kind of ups and downs towards that too. Um, like there have been points um, since 2011 um, where it's not gone to plan the whole self-employed musician thing. Um, and I've had to work as a car salesman. Uh, I've worked in a call centre um, for Tesco. Um, I worked in pubs um, in Forfar. Just, just to make ends meet whilst these kind of dips happen. It happens with most musicians, there are dips. Um, thankfully now I'm a bit more on top of things um, so that when kind of school holidays come around um, there is either work coming in to keep me going or there's a kind of uh, a stash, maybe not a stash, but, but something to, to fall back on. So the main theme for this video um, is can you actually earn money from playing bagpipes? And the answer is kind of yes and kind of no. Um, it really depends on what kind of work you're doing. Um, so myself, I teach bagpipes um, nearly every single day. Um, and it's in schools. Um, I did teach privately for a long time, um, but the schools and the private teaching, the, the wages from both are almost completely different. Um, the schools go usually in line with the musicians' union, um, and that can pay you up to like £40 an hour. Um, my schools don't pay me that much, um, but it is a massive amount still, especially compared to private teaching, um, where you could get £20 an hour. It's almost half um, the, the hourly wage um, between the schools and private teaching. So, And obviously, because I've got so many pupils at the schools, I don't need to really worry about private lessons. Um, other streams of income for me include uh, Kayleigh's. I actually only just got into the Kaylee thing a few years ago, um, playing with bands like Jim Jam Kaylee Band, Grouse Kaylee Band, um, and they're always really good fun, but that's not really a bagpipe wage. Um, it's a border pipe wage. Um, very rarely do I play Highland bagpipes um, at these Kayleigh's. The border pipes is kind of a, it's an essential because it's in a completely different key. A, a key that makes life easier for the fiddle players or accordionists even. And um, also on top of the border pipes, um, you usually need to be pretty good at the whistle um, just so that you have that extended range and can play fiddle tunes. Um, and it's also nice for songs. It can get the, the melody line the chorus and stuff on your whistle. Um, I also play accordion, so that is another thing that, that adds to... It's another string to my bow, basically. Um, and most Kayleys, actually, I'll, I'll prefer to sit on the accordion just because it has all of the range. Um, goes well beyond the pipes, far beyond the pipes. Goes well beyond the whistle, and I can chuck in some bass chords as well. Um, if I'm feeling up to it. My first bit of self-employed experience um, actually came from the Red Hot Chili Pipers. Um, my first gig for them was in Austria 
and it was amazing. That, that was August 2011, that, that was the first proper self-employed gig um, of my career, I'd say. And it kind of, for the first couple of years, um, I was fairly busy with that. Um, and the band, the band kind of changes now and again, um, and sometimes it doesn't fit with what you're doing. So um, it's kind of a bit quiet on that front for me just now. I've actually got a gig uh, tonight with the Chilis. I'm going to take the camera along. Um, but I think this this will be my first gig since Hogmanay. And I don't have any other gigs penciled in the, the diary with, with them. Although that's kind of my fault because I turned down a load of gigs to do stuff with um, people like Heron Valley, who I was in America with. Um, I'm trying to kind of not walk away from the chilies, but do other stuff. Um, like I said with the Keeleys, um, the Heron Valley thing required whistles. If I didn't play whistles, I probably wouldn't have got on that trip. Um, they would have picked someone who could play bagpipes and whistles. Um, and that's how it goes. That That's that's what people expect now. Um, and, and even back to the Keeley stuff again, As a, if I'm booked as a piper, um, they'll want the whistle, uh, I'll bring my accordion anyway, and I have um, pretty good knowledge um, of calling the Cayley, so I can call the dances if required. Um, although I do quite like calling the dances. There's no real reason for it, but something I've not done in a while is play bagpipes as the daytime piper at someone's wedding. Um, I do enjoy it, uh, and it is it's a kind of a bit of a workout, um, just playing over your 4-4s four and 3-4s and 6-8s um, and the rest, uh, like your pipe band MSRs. Um, but they, they do pay well. Um, I've just not done them recently because I've been too busy with other things, like Kayleys and uh, Chili Gigs, stuff like that. Um, but I mean, you can earn for, for a wedding, if you're, if you're there the whole day, um, you could earn well up to about £300 um, for a day's work, which is not bad at all. Um, the only thing with weddings is there's a lot of competition um, because you only have to play bagpipes and have a, a fancy kilt outfit. Um, so th there are people out there that do charge a lot less than £300. I, I don't charge £300 unless it is the whole day. Um, but, I mean, people will, will go do that for £100. £100. Um, or less in some cases, and um, like many others, I, I don't think I could justify a, a full day's work in the kit with the pipes for £100. So to kind of round up um, my income, I'll, I'll, I'll try not to go into too much details on the, the, the finances of it all, but um, the, the teaching could earn me up to £35 an hour, um, and I'll probably teach about 20 hours a week, so you can do the maths on that. Um, at one point, um, I had, I think it was May last year, um, I had three gigs a week for three weeks in a row, and uh, on top of the teaching. So um, these gigs usually pay £200 on average. Kayleys give you uh, about that and more maybe sometimes uh, expenses too um, and the, the tours they pay kind of well um, my, my first few tours would pay crazy money like a thousand pounds a week um, plus flights paid for um, all expenses paid for um, and there would be weeks where you'd only play your, your four gigs um, so I mean those were the days so yeah, it's, it's, but when I put all of these things together, um, they're not all purely bagpipes, uh, mostly bagpipes. Um, when I add everything together, the whistles and Kaylee things, um, I could end up making about thirty-two to thirty-five thousand pounds a year, um, which is a lot of money, um, especially considering my my bagpipe annual wage at one point was uh, £10 a year, um, maybe £20 a year. So if, if I take away, though, if, if we take away the, the whistle and the accordion, take all of that stuff away and just leave it with pure bagpipe earnings, 
um, you'd probably want to half that and maybe even take off a little bit more. Um, so, um, yeah, to, to, to really earn a, a half decent amount of money um, with your music, um, especially if you're a piper, you, you, you really want to be learning whistle or any other instrument. Um, I know the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland, they're doing a, a very good job um, by letting all these, these young pipers um, get some really good whistle lessons, um, piano lessons, um, all, all these things are very, very handy and make for a, almost a, a more appealing musician to ask to a gig. Um, and I, um, I, I've been very fortunate with the work that I've been offered um, and I'll continue to be grateful for it as well. So yes, you can make money from bagpipes, you can make money from music in general, of course you can. Um, just need to make sure that you've got your fingers in the pies. Off to Dundee now um, for my cup of tea. Um, I hope, um, hope that all makes sense about the whole money thing. Um, I hope um, that self-employed musicians uh, up up and coming self-employed musicians too um, can see that there is some sort of light at the end of all the hard work that you put in. Um, a lot of lecturers um, you hear of in uh, colleges and unis, some colleges and some unis, um, kind of putting people off saying, oh, you'll, you'll never make money from your art uh, or you'll never be a touring musician. Um, you can, you absolutely can. Excellent cup of tea, uh, as usual, uh, at Gran and Grandad's. Um, usually for these gigs, we get fed, um, and we get fed very well. Maybe maybe, maybe too well, actually. Um, but because this is a late one, um, there's obviously no food provided. Um, so, um, as I'm in Dundee, uh, I'm, of course, going just going to have to uh, take myself to Clarkies. There it is. The famous Clarkies. Clark's Bakery. Uh, and I used to work here. Um, which was a, a bit of a danger zone actually. Um, what a place. What a place. Dundee. Um, I don't even know if I've uh, actually mentioned that I'm from Dundee. Um, I stay in Perth now um, and have done for a wee while, uh, like a year or something. Uh, and I, I just kind of I keep swapping between Dundee and Perth um, because obviously I love Dundee. Um, but Perth just so handy because it's basically the, the centre of Scotland so I'm kind of an hour away from Aberdeen I'm an hour from Glasgow uh, I'm less than a, much less than an hour from Edinburgh and um, I'm about 45 minutes from uh, this gig in St Andrews um, so yes I need, I need to now get there and I, I need to now get to St Andrews so um, 
I'll, I'll, I'll see you in a second because I need to, I now need to drive fast but not not speeding of course oh, made it to the gig um, no speeding required as nobody in Fife knows how to drive the speed limit um, the gig tonight um, is actually a lovely Fairmont uh, hotel big golf uh, type deal uh, the gig isn't for golf um, but it's a very nice hotel I'm going to head inside because it's uh, do you know it's actually not that cold but uh, it's very windy Should have brought my swimming pants. <laughs> Yep. I like this place. Camera comes out and like, oh, there he is. I need to be. Do you think anyone remembers you from that first video that you appeared in, Gregor? Maybe. With our, it was a Kayleigh gig, wasn't it? It was, aye. Making reads and playing Kayleigh. And look, here we are at a chilly gig. Oh. Here we are. Oh no, Ooh. I pushed the wrong one. I'm nervous now that I'm on camera. Ah, just. What have you been getting up to, Gregor? Teaching the snare drum to a bunch of kids, kickboxing. <laughs> Left my actual camera. Left the actual camera upstairs. Uh, I've got the GoPro on my phone. Um, so hopefully this will uh, do the trick again. Gigs are. <laughs> Good afternoon <laughs> and welcome to the Kyle Howie Show. Yes. On this episode, you, you can stick stuff in. Uh, pleasure doing business with you, Stan. Thank you. Nice to see you again. And good afternoon. Nice to get you. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, How do you feel <laughs> as the 28th of March 2019 and you've just done your last gig of the year. Last gig of the year. That's the gig finished now. Uh, quite a good one for Spa um, at the Fairmont uh, here in St Andrews. Um, very enjoyable. Uh, nice to get the camera out again too. Yes, I'll, I'll see you all soon.